You know, if Martha keeps asking me over for dinner like that, I'm going to need a ladder to get on and off of this. <laughs> Where did this come from? I don't know. Sand tea. I'm the only one who puts up posters in this territory. Say, hey, I was obstructing justice, Marshal. Because I got plenty more of them posters. A whole saddlebag full. Sand tea. Right, me. It's been a long time, ain't it, Morrison? Get out of here. Get out of my town! Oh, I can't do that, Marshal. You see, this badge here says you gotta cooperate with me. Help me catch that fella I'm after. I wouldn't lift a finger to help you, Santee. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be around here a spell. Uh, if you change your mind, I'll be right over there at the hotel. Uh, the saloon. I've hated for 15 years. It's a long time. Yes, it is. Him, Santee, he done this to me. Fifteen years ago, when I was a prisoner of war at Andersonville. on the saloon wall and went inside. Good. Maybe when he puts him up all over town, he'll leave. And if that don't work, maybe he'll stay in the saloon until he drinks himself to death. Marshal. I ain't fooling nobody but myself. Marshal, are you afraid of him? Of him? I'm only afraid of myself, what I'd like to do to him. What I swore to do to him. When my outfit was captured, there was 28 of us sent to Andersonville. Sam T wasn't even a soldier, Sam. He was a, an animal, a hired guard in that prison. His job was to guard the prisoners of war. And Sam T went a step further. He killed those men, Sam. Slowly, methodically, we killed him. Santee didn't like the way you looked at him. You were sent to the ovens, deep holes in the ground with metal covers on them. Nine months later, when the war was ended and we was released, there was only two of us left. Myself and a man named Baker, Joe Baker. Baker and I, we vowed we'd kill Santee. We swore that if either one of us lived, one or the other or both of us, we'd track him, run him down and kill him. I vowed to kill him. You didn't vow to throw your life away. We stills wearing a badge. God have mercy on the man he's after.
Good evening, Deputy. We'll buy a drink. Oh, thank you. You know, down where I come from, we hear talk about a Apache lawman who got himself schooled at Harvard. Of course, nobody believes him. You guys see him as believing, though, huh? Hey, what can I do for you, Deputy? Something I'd like to know about this. Uh, Deputy, where'd you get that? A wall outside. Like I told the marshal, that there's obstructing justice. How am I going to catch that fellow unless I get a little cooperation? I just don't understand Morrison's attitude. You don't? What about Andersonville? Oh, he told you, huh? That was a long time ago, Deputy. You know, there was a war on. There ain't no reason. This Baker, what did he do? Got himself out of my prison, that's what he did. Nobody does that. Nobody. At least they don't stay out. Yeah, I got a record, Deputy. You figure this Baker's in this part of the country, huh? No, oh, I followed him here. I lost him ways back. He'll show up. He's got a good friend who lives in his town. Somebody who maybe help him. Anything else you want to know, Deputy? If you're referring to the marshal, he wouldn't help an escaped convict, no matter who he was. Well, if I could be sure of that... You I... can. And if Baker does show up here, the marshal and I will handle it the proper way. I'm like you asking me to leave. I am. You step out of line once, and you'll answer for it. Is that clear? Sure, Deputy Shoot. Sure. Yeah, real clear. But uh, you remember what I said. Nobody gets out of my prison and stays out. I aim to keep that record. Neither you or Morrison are going to stop me. this afternoon. All you saw was Santee's name. So? Read it. He's in the cell.
away from Lordsburg. I knew you had help. You remember what we swore to do? You remember, don't you? I remember. I looked for him for five years after the war. Almost had him. Two years ago, they sent me to Lordsburg for robbing a store. That's all I did, rob a store. And they sent me to that hole. And there he was. Just like he had been waiting for me. What are you going to do? Marshal. Don't stop me, Sam. I just hear one thing. That man broke out of Lordsburg. I know that. You don't send men to Lordsburg for robbing stores. That prisoner's for the worst of them. Killers, nearly every one of them. You don't know if he's telling the truth. You seen what Santee done to him? I'm not saying Santee doesn't deserve anything he may get. Men like that don't belong in law work. But this isn't the way to do it. You've handled enough men like Baker to know they'd do anything. Lie, steal, spend their lives hating, seeking revenge. What you're saying is that if I use this, then I ain't any better than he is. You'll be your own judge. You've had a long time to think about it. Won't get the duck. over at the marshal's office. What's the matter with him? I ain't better see for yourself. All right. Take me a couple of minutes, get my clothes on. Come on in and tell me all about it. Andy. Yes, Joe? Don't, don't let him get me. You, you get him first. You get him, you hear? You do my part for me. Look, Joe. Things were different at Andersonville. Different circumstances. We both changed since then. I, I ain't changed. Look at me. Look at what Santy done to me again. Joe. I want you to tell me the truth. Why were you in Lordsburg? That's... Evening, Marshal. Sure do appreciate you taking care of my prisoner for me. Don't let him take me. This man is in my jurisdiction, Santee, and he's not your prisoner. I'll turn him over to the proper authorities at the proper time, Santee. When he's well and can be moved. Uh, Marshal, I'm the proper authority. Man's a killer. Robbed a store and shot the storekeeper and his wife doing it. No! It's not true! And? Marshal, you, you do believe in official reports, don't you? No records, things like that, you can check it yourself. Any time. You got me at a disadvantage, Santee, not having the full facts. Out of deference to that badge you're wearing, I got no choice but to believe you. Well, that's better. But you're not taking him, Santee. 
You spoke a record, Santee. Well, I know yours. This man is living proof of what you are and what you have been. You're a disgrace to that badge you wear. That's so? Yeah, well, let me tell you something. All your fancy words don't bother me, you know, sir, not a bit. I get paid for doing a job. Ain't nobody's business how I do it so long as I do it. Now, you, you understand that, Marshal? Now, you've been getting in my way ever since I got here, and I don't like it, no, sir. Now, you get out of my way. Why, you... Sensei! Get out of here. Well, that's the second time you told me to get out in one day. All right, I'm going. But you mind me, you ain't heard the end of this. Don't you worry a minute, Baker. I'll get you. It's part of my record, deputy. I don't like that. Makes me look bad not bringing my man back. I almost shot him, Doc. Well, I'm glad you didn't, Andrew. I got all the patience I need right now. Now you be careful, Deputy. Now on you be careful. badly hurt at the marshal's office. The doctor said he needs a nurse. Of course, Sam. I'll slip into some clothes and be right down. Hello, Sam. I heard you right up, so I cannot say goodnight. I'm sorry I woke you, Tess. You better go back to bed. I heard what you told Martha. I'm a pretty good nurse, too. Can I help? Yes, you can. By going back to sleep. You know, that's the only way pretty little girls are going to grow up to be beautiful big girls. Oh, shucks. Nobody ever lets me be much help around you. Tess. Just knowing that you're here, being able to see you every day when I'm not out of town, is all the help I need. But I'll let you do one thing. What's that? You go upstairs and tell Martha to hurry. I'll go out to the barn and get her horse, all right? All right, Sam. Deputy! Now, Deputy, maybe you'll stay out of my way. Sam! 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 They shot you! Who was it? Help me to my horse. Sam, you can't ride. You're too badly hurt. Help me! Oh, Sam, they hurt you. I'm all right, what? Tess. I'm all right. Don't worry. Oh, Sam! Sam, don't leave! I'm all right, Tess. I'll have to take her inside.
Only a bloodthirsty savage would have done this to a man. All right, son, now you try and get some sleep. You tell Martha to check with me as soon as she gets here. All right, then. Well, I'll be back taking another look at him in the morning. All right, Doc. See, you know, you look like you could use a little sleep yourself. I guess. Even again, Marshal. I thought you was gone. Oh, now, Marshal, you ought to know I ain't gonna leave without my prisoner. Now, you gonna give him to me, or do I have to use it? You use that gun, Santee, you're gonna hang yourself. Ah. If you want Baker, you're gonna have to kill me first. And I'm not drawing my gun. I'd hate to have to shoot you down. Go ahead. I don't want to see you spoil that record you spoke of. Shoot me. Then after that, you shoot the doc here, so there won't be any witnesses either. She gets strung up. Go ahead and shoot everybody in Santa Fe. Ain't that what you have to do, Santee? Kill everybody so you can keep your record. Will you go ahead and kill me? Go on. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. You draw. You, you ain't tricking me, Morrison. I ain't moving a muscle, Santee. That's your play. I'm telling you. I'll kill you. You think I won't? You don't think? Ah, oh, you saw that, Marshal. That's all nice and legal. The prisoner tried to kill you. Oh, now you back over here, Marshal. Santee! If you're gunning for accuracy, deputy. Keep it coming, Buckheart. Got him, didn't we, Andy? Just like I said we would. That's enough, Tess, please. You have to eat all, Sam. Doc Clement said we had to feed you good so you'd get well. I know, but not six times a day. Besides, I'm almost well. My shoulder feels fine. Now, don't argue. Eat the porridge. That's right, Tess. You make him behave. Can you give me the authority? Authority granted. Now you eat the porridge, Sam, or I'll duck your whole week's pay. But Tess, I... Now don't argue. Eat the porridge. 